Good morning. I'm Margit Ramo. Good morning. I'm Kirsti Kivirut. And I have an attention test. Shall we have the same runic song uh, this morning that we heard uh, last night? We have a plan that uh, we will start here in this hall all together. Uh, Gersti will make a short summary about yesterday, uh, taking into account those people who are here for the first time, and then I will explain how we are going to proceed today. Uh, welcome everybody who has joined us today. Yesterday we had a day of strategies, but we also had a day of metaphors. Uh, already at the beginning of the day, our moderator, Maria Yurima, asked whether the career is a ladder or a hole or a path. And we discussed it during the day. Uh, through different metaphors, and uh, we found during the day that uh, we have sillage, uh, sillage pillars, uh, not bridges. So uh, the question was how to create bridges rather than individual towers. And um, yesterday, uh, our foreign experts, Anthony Mann from OECD and Raimo Vorinen from Uvascular University made their presentations and we learned that our uh, digital youth, uh, their understanding of the labor market uh, is limited to just a handful of uh, professions. Um, and they see themselves as uh, doctors or, or cooks and uh, what uh, was interesting for me, uh, or was shocking, uh, actually, from Anthony Mann's uh, presentation, that our social economic uh, gap is widening, and this influences the ability to manage on the labor markets of young people. Also, uh, PISA results uh, show that uh, social economic background does not affect academic uh, uh, results, but on the labor market, uh, this plays a, a significant role. And we need to take that into account when we provide support to our young people. Also, we found uh, food for thought as to how early we should start to provide uh, systematic career services, all the, the, the entire package, career guidance and everything. And the answer was that as early as possible. And uh, the question then is that what does it mean? We had also two young people yesterday who uh, um, made uh, their in introduction, Tia Thompson from a small uh, rural uh, school, and uh, Johannes as representative of a uh, student uh, organization. And these two young people, they're, they're, through their eyes, um, we learned that uh, by the end of their ninth year, they are ready to enter the next phase of their studies or enter the labor market. Also, we heard that this entire package should contain uh, the idea of the, the, the entirety. So how to make our young people self-confident, self-managing. And this was uh, on the line by Christy Finter Nemmals, uh, who uh, uh, explained uh, the, the strategy developed by uh, the Minister of Education and Research. Also, we had a very interesting and, and emotional uh, discussion in the panel uh, with uh, decision makers, um, with Mary Spavel, Christy Nemmals, um, Winter Nemmals, Hanno Domberg uh, from the uh, Estonian Unemployment Insurance Fund and, and um, Foundation Archimedes. And um, we, we heard the opinions of uh, decision makers as to how to organize or reorganize uh, career guidance. And um, finally, also as a result of our discussions, we realized or we found a consensus uh, in a sense that um, career is a path 
Well, sometimes you need to use a ladder also, but our biggest challenge is cooperation or, or creating systematic cooperation. So everybody who was present yesterday, uh, they agreed that we have well-functioning systems, we have unemployment insurance fund, fund we have a uh, well-established educational system, but how to put these two things together? We are ready to, to work together, and this made a very good impression, a positive impression. And, uh, of course, uh, Maria Yurima's uh, runic song, which was, which was magic, and hopefully created positive feelings. And, uh, uh, and hopefully our dreams will uh, materialize, will become real in the future. Thank you, Kirsti. Uh, anything to add to this? Uh, did we miss anything? Well, some thoughts, some comments that you would like to share uh, this morning. I can offer you a microphone. Okay, let's, let's wake up first and then we'll talk. But uh, first of all, uh, our today's agenda. Uh, this is what we have planned for today. So we are going to continue with building bridges, but uh, this time uh, in a very practical way. Uh, all practitioners uh, can bring their best pieces uh, out and put them on the table to enrich uh, each other through educational systems, through different sectors, and to also um, bring uh, different exciting um, uh, examples and after each workshop uh, we will take a pause, we will uh, summarize what are the lessons learned uh, to pr practitioners, to uh, policy makers and this is how we have envis envisaged our day. We will have three sessions, the first will start at uh, 9.30, then we'll have a pause, then the second uh, session, then a light lunch here on this floor and uh, at uh, 13.40, the last uh, workshop session. And then we will gather all here afterwards and we'll uh, summarize and, uh, and yeah, sum things up. Uh, as to movements, uh, then uh, we will be in three different uh, rooms. International workshops will be here in this big hall. And B workshops will be in our Tourus Hall, you have to go out and go around the corner and uh, see the third group is room Vega, uh, it's a small seminar hall. Uh, the plan is that um, in each room we have a head or a, or a chairperson. I would ask uh, Kirstin and Kirsti to wave and I will stay here in this hall and uh, these people will uh, be uh, in their respective halls uh, throughout the day. We'll make an introduction and we'll uh, also um, uh, summarize things. And you all have your notebooks, study notebooks. So uh, those people who are here for the first time, I hope that you have received your notebook. You will, you will find our agenda. You will. Um, I hope also that you have uh, made your choice and you have found, or you will find your your rooms. But um, like uh, yesterday, we have a person in charge of the discussion. So if the workshop lasts uh, 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 an hour and twenty minutes, and the the rest uh, will be for reflections, for sieving out uh, the best uh, examples, the best uh, tips. Um, please. Uh, away those who are in charge of discussions and uh, they will play a big role today. Anything else that I should add? Yes, uh, sorry, uh, tr interpretation is provided here but international community is following us um, uh, online. They have access uh, to this uh, workshop so Estonian uh, listeners uh, can choose whether they would like to follow uh, groups A, B or C. So our web platform should also have all the information readily available. Uh, one more thing, uh, our international community, our uh, agenda follows uh, mid-European time, so there's one hour time difference, so please follow the English uh, language 
agenda. So please, I'd like to fish, wish you to enjoy yourselves, uh, listen carefully and share your thoughts. One uh, question. The, the, the host workshop rooms are all here on the same floor. So Arturo is around the corner and Vega, when you exit this hall directly across the lobby and uh, Kersti and Kerstin respectively in uh, room Vega and room Arcturus. Um, those who remain here, they, who have chosen Austrian workshop, who registered before um, Christmas, they received um, information did, uh, on their emails. So um, if you need help, then uh, Markus uh, uh, is ready to, to help you. But uh, now you can uh, stretch a little bit and we will uh, start at 9.30.